Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm at the World Economic Forum in Cape Town and actually in the Absa Dome at the moment, which is right opposite where the forum is taking place. And for the last two days here, we've seen strongly voiced protests and rightly voiced protests against men who are raping women and men who are killing women. And these protests are a voice of help, a voice for action. And they're entirely appropriate at this time. Our country is in a situation where our women and children do not feel safe. We can't carry on like this. And everybody in our society has got to stand up and play their role in putting a stop to this. And we have to call it as it is. So it's not femicide or gender-based violence. It's men killing women and men raping women. And it has to stop. And all of us, including and especially men in society, have to stand up and hold other men accountable for their actions. So whether it's at home, whether it's in the workplace, or whether it's in your social and church environments, we all have to stand up and call this thing out and be a voice and an action for change. And I must say that I congratulate our president uh, who just an hour or so ago addressed the protesters outside parliament. And he said exactly the right thing. He called it as it is. And he also committed himself to change the legal system and the laws so that our criminal justice system recognizes these crimes for the serious blight on our society that they are and that our criminal justice system responds appropriately. So I thank our president for that action today. But to each and every one of you, I'm a woman, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother. And this action now, in terms of what our country needs, is exactly the right action. And I call out to all of us to stand up, to protect the women in the organization, to protect women in our families and in our societies. And chaps, gentlemen, we need you now to stand up and do the right thing.